This is the biggest reason why I think it's so challenging to learn how the human body works. What's up everyone, Mike Molnar here. I'm an internal medicine doctor from Los Angeles, California. And today I wanna to make a video on the biggest reason why I think it's pretty challenging to learn how the human body works. So in medical school, at least to a certain extent, we go through the human body through each of the different organ systems. You learn about the cardiovascular system, then you learn about the lungs and how they work, and then onto the kidneys, the endocrine system, and so on and so forth until you've pretty much covered the entire body. The problem with this approach is that each of the different organ systems don't exist or function in isolation of one another. So when you're learning, there's all these different gaps in your knowledge that you just, at least in my case, I ended up just trying to memorize things that I didn't really fully understand, but I would try to memorize them for the test. And you can get by, you can pass all your exams this way. and. I don't know if there's any other way to go about it. Because for example, it's hard to understand how the kidneys work if you haven't yet studied the liver. It's hard to fully grasp infections and how bacteria can make you sick when you haven't yet studied immunology. So let me give you one big example of how all the different organ systems are interconnected. And this example is congestive heart failure. So as the name implies, this is when the heart is not functioning and it leads to congestion or backup in blood flow resulting in fluid collections where fluid shouldn't be such as around the lungs or in the legs. So superficially, this seems pretty easy to understand. If the heart isn't pumping blood effectively, you get backup of blood, which can then presumably cause fluid to build up in the body. But it doesn't quite make perfect sense because it's not like this is blood that's collecting around the lungs or blood that's making your lower extremities, your legs swell up. It's just fluid. There's just too much fluid in the body. So exactly why is it that if the heart isn't working right, you get this buildup of fluid. Well, to understand that, you've got to understand the relationship between the heart and the kidneys. So in congestive heart failure, when the heart isn't pumping blood properly, the kidneys detect this lack of blood flow as a state of volume depletion or dehydration. So the kidneys then retain more fluid by making you pee less. They do this through hormones, renin, angiotensin, and aldosterone. Then by accumulating more fluid, this has the downstream effect of making the heart even more overloaded and less effective at pumping then the kidneys detect this and then retain even more fluid. So it's this big vicious cycle that leads to a syndrome of congestive heart failure characterized by volume overloaded, getting fluid around the lungs, making it hard to breathe, fluid accumulating in the legs, making them very swollen. You can even get fluid backing up into the liver. We call this congestive hepatopathy. And it's all because of not just cardiac dysfunction, but the relationship between how the heart works and how the kidneys work. And it's really impossible to fully grasp congestive heart failure without understanding the interplay between the different organs. Then to treat congestive heart failure, one of the mainstays of treatment is medications called diuretics, which then force the kidneys to release more fluid to make you pee more, essentially hijacking their function to ignore the effect of the heart on the kidneys and helping to break that vicious cycle. And so there you go. That's just one example of how our organ systems are interconnected and why it's so difficult when you're first trying to understand how the human body works and you're really just learning one organ system at a time. Thanks for checking out this video. If you like healthcare related topics like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button there or check out another video here and I'll see you guys next time.